We now have our saw tooth star block and how do we get it into our quilt? So right now our quilt grid or the digital design wall is empty. And the fastest way to put a block into all the blocks or all the cell blocks is to hit the infinity symbol. This will select all the cell blocks in the grid. And then you can click on the add to quilt button or the sawtooth star and that will put a single block into every cell or every block cell available. And so you can see now very quickly we've populated the entire quilt with our, our sawtooth star blocks. And there are now 48 of them. So that's great, um, but it kind of has this very monotone look to it. What if we wanted to remove some of the blocks? So to do that, you can click on the cells for the blocks that you want to remove. You can tell which ones are selected because they will be outlined in this blue. And you can very easily select a number of different cell blocks or quilt grid blocks and then hit the delete key on your keyboard and that will remove them from the quilt. There's also other ways to select things. You can use the right click button and go to the bottom and click set, select blocks and that'll select all of the blocks that are the same. And then you can click the delete key and delete them. By clicking outside of the area, you can deselect all, everything that was selected. And in the central toolbar, we have a selection, a quick select options. So you can collect, uh, select the columns odd or even, the rows odd or even, and a checkerboard kind of format odd or even. And so I'm going to actually use checker even, which is actually checker odd. It's a little bit of a bug. Um, and add to quilt. So now we have the sawtooth star block in kind of every other um, block position. Uh, in a checkerboard like fashion and you can see now that there's 24 of these blocks instead of 48 because there's some empty um, areas in the cell in the in the quilt don't forget to save your quilt so you don't lose your progress